Hey guys, welcome back to Be Mere Lay. I am back with another word, you guys. And I'm excited to share this word with you guys. Um, the Lord is good. He is so good. Um, and one thing that he was speaking to me, which I will pray and get right into this word, but this word is just so saturated in his love and he wants you to touch that today. He wants you to know you are loved today. So Father God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for breathing into our lungs that we may have life for eternity in you, Father God. And I just pray, Lord, that whoever needs to hear this word, that it will penetrate, it will saturate, it will redeem and restore their spirits right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you have your way and I seal this prayer by your blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so one word that I just woke up this morning with, and there's just been um, a lot of things just happening around me, you know, things that may not even, they don't pertain to me, but they're happening around me. That was like a best way to put it. Um, and one thing like God wants his children to know is how sovereign and loving he is. Yes, there's his side of him that is just and fair and he despises the wicked and, you know, he, he puts the wrath down on the wicked, you know, we're either a blessing or a curse. And so, God does all things in love. He is love. And so he wants that you to, rem to remember that today, that he is love. So when we go back into that hard posture of doing all things in love, you never know who needs that moment of um, your conversation of love, your, uh, a moment of uh, physical um, love, whether it's a hug or calling someone or standing in the gap for whoever it is, because we're all facing circumstances. We all go through things, opposition, and the opposition we go through makes us, it's to make us stronger. It's not ideal, it's uncomfortable, it makes us stretch, makes us grow, but that love of Christ is like no other, and you're only gonna find it in the Lord. And so um, the Lord's placing so, 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 and I feel this strongly in my spirit, so many people in a place and position to show love to people who maybe have lost hope, people that have, you know, their heart is sick, people that have no idea what to do anymore. You know, we, we talk about suicide and it's just so, um, it's demonic. It's not of God. And so when I think of, you know, people's mental health, cause some people need to hear it that way. Um, we know what it is. We know their spirits behind these, um, you know, working behind people that um, go into depression and loneliness and they just feel like they're not seen and unheard. And so, God is raising us up as his sons and daughters to be that for those around us. Do not find it strange and odd. If God places you in a position where you don't understand, you got peace in that place and you don't understand, he's put you there to be a light, to be that light, to be his voice, to be his heart, amen, to be his very, very heart, you guys. And so love covers a multitude of sin so yes it may not it may be tough it's probably not easy you're probably going through a lot maybe you somebody else that's around you i know in my position there's there's a few things happening with people that are just around me that are going through things and it's like wow this is a perfect opportunity to show them the love of christ and compassion because kindness and compassion goes such a long way sometimes you don't even have to speak but sometimes just sitting in that silence with someone is what they need sometimes um just sharing a memory, just being in, in their atmosphere is all they need because I'm telling you, God's love is tangible. Amen. He is with us. He is with us. I love how it's getting brighter in here. Um, the Lord's with you. Um, he wants to use you. And, um, you know, if you're facing opposition of whatever sorts, because God says we're going to endure. We're going to endure and face many trials of various kinds on this walk. It is to endure it is to build discipline if we weren't disciplined we'd be running around crazy doing what we wanted and god's a god of order he's a god of peace and so i want to share this word with you guys i know it's a quick word but i want this word to saturate in your spirit i want this word to just revive you redeem you and be that hope for those around you because that's who we are called as a body of christ is to be there for those around us to, to sing songs of melodies, amen, thank you, Holy Spirit, to continue to, to walk in holiness and righteousness. And if you need more of God, ask him, ask him. I just want to show you how beautiful it is right now. You know, um, the weather coming in is gorgeous. Like this wind is coming in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I just know God's with every single one of you guys. He has not left you. He's not forsaken you. He will leave the 99 for the one. So if you're in a place right now to be that hope, that light, that love, that heart for someone else, 
you will be honored. You will be blessed. Lord's going to use you in such a big way. He's building endurance in us so that we may speak boldly with love and on our tongues and instructions of the Lord. So I love you guys so much. Um, I feel so much love in this message. I pray this message reaches those that it needs to reach. And please share this with someone that maybe is losing hope today. God sees you. God loves you. You are not forgotten. You are not forsaken. You have been placed here for a purpose. The Lord loves you with all of his heart. He has set eternity in you. And he's waiting for you to open your arms that he may embrace you. And that you, he, he will abide in you and you will abide in him. There is no sin too deep that has overtaking you that God cannot redeem or restore or or forgive you from. He loves you bigger and more than your sin. Amen. I love you guys so much. I pray you guys are blessed by this word and I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless you.